Isaiah refers to Israel and to his people as a vineyard. And today we're going to read about a vineyard that was disappointing to God. And sometimes we're disappointing and sometimes we please God. So let's read it from Isaiah chapter 5. Now let me sing to my well-beloved, a song of my beloved regarding his vineyard. My well-beloved has a vineyard on a very fruitful hill. He dug it up and cleared it out, its stones and planted it with the choicest vines. He built a tower in its midst and also made a wine press in it. So he expected to bring forth good grapes, but it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge please between me and my vineyard. What more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done to it? Why then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? And now please let me tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge, and it shall be burned. Break down its wall, and it shall be trampled down. I will lay it to waste, and it shall be pruned or dug. But there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain on it. For the vineyard of the Lord of the hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are his pleasant plants. He looked for justice, for behold, oppression, for righteousness, behold, a cry for help. So here we are at a vineyard, and here's Ari Bar David to talk to us about the vineyard, which is referred to as Israel. Welcome the vineyard and the wine press as part of the vineyard. In Hebrew, wine press is called gut. And I want to share you a little bit about what, what, what is the meaning of what we have just read. What is the meaning to build a vineyard? How much work has to be done in building a vineyard? Let us start. What we have read before, what is the first thing that you have to do? The first thing you have to choose a good place. Like you say, a chosen place in the mountain. Choosing. Remember that Israel, as resembling the vineyard, God chose Israel from all other nations. Once you choose the place, what is the first thing that you are doing? You are digging down and taking the big stones. Now this is very important. Israel is a mountain country and the mountains are rocky and full of stones. I was speaking about stones of three feet on three feet on three feet, right? So you have to dig and very hard to pick these stones and put them away. That's exactly what God says in Psalm 80. He said that you, Israel, I brought you from out of Egypt and I choose a place for you, and the place is Canaan. But first God has to take the stones that were in Canaan in order to plant Israel there. What are the stones? The stones are these nations, the Gerizi, the Yevusi, the Canaanite, you know, all these seven nations that God is mentioning them. Now, to take stones out of the ground is easy work, no, it's not easy, it's not nice. I mean, you have to use hammers, you have chisels. Actually, that's what happened when God commanded Joshua to fight against the nations here, to take them away in order to give the area ready to be planted. After you take the mighty stones, what you are doing? You are collecting the small stones, Many times we call them in Hebrew avnei sikul, and we call them the stones that actually, if, uh, later on, they put them in order to, to stone somebody, right? I mean, small stones. And you pick all the small stones away. And then the third, you go and you dig a vat. Just here behind, there is a deep vat. 
and out of the vat you have a kind of a floor. You build a kind of a, a small shelter from the sun, like we have here, and most of the time the roof is made from branches of palm tree. You bring ropes from the roof and this is the plan, the area where later on you are stepping over the grapes. So let us just remember that first of thing you have to dig to take things from the earth. Now what you are doing with these stones? Are you throwing them away? No! No, you are still using them. So let us remember that we are talking about a vineyard. And the most important in a vineyard is to take later on the grapes and to get from the grapes wine to press on them, right? Let us look about where we do and how we do the system. We take and we dug a vat where later on all the liquid will go down into the vat. The grapes themselves we throw here on this floor and we are stepping on them, stepping on them barefooted till all the grapes will be liquid. In order to shelter, to have a kind of shelter from the sun, we build this roof, which is actually full of branches of palm tree. I want to go back to what we are doing with the stones that were here in the ground. We are using them. How? For building terrace, building watching tower, building houses. You see, we use the stones. Everything can be used in the hand of God. A stone which we don't use, which just lays in, in the field, is a dead stone. But the moment you take it and you build it as a part of construction, it becomes in, as a living stone. And we will talk about this later on. Most of the time in the Bible it speaks about tirosh, a new wine. What is the meaning? Tirosh or new wine, it's wine that didn't fermented. Didn't fermented. Now, let me go again here to the vat itself. I fill all the floor with the grapes. I hold the rope. Usually, I do it in right hand. I take my sandals off, right? And then when I am barefoot, throwing, filling it all with grapes, I hold here and I start jumping and pressing. Pressing and pressing in a rhythm. You see, many times while doing this, in biblical time, people were shouting, Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Jeremiah is saying that there will be no sounds of Hey, Dad! anymore from your mountain. Why? Because you, will, you are going to be in exile. You see, Isaiah described the same thing, the same word. There is no Hadad anymore because the vineyards are not anymore. The enemy came and destroyed everything. But look, just imagine the man standing like this, stepping and shouting, hey, Dad, other people hear it and shouting, can we come and help you? Of course you can come and more people, and more people coming and shouting, Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Stepping the vine, no doubt, is something with a lot of rejoicing, a lot of happiness. More and more people are coming, and of course, some of them will put their cup to have the tirosh, which is just came from the vines, the grapes. Step, stopping a moment, let us think about a man that would never enjoy this ceremony. Who is this man? Little Samson. Think about Samson. Samson, as a Nazarene, was not allowed not only not to drink vine, but not even touch the grapes or pass or eat raisins or anything that comes as a production, you see? So imagine all this celebration always far away you have a Samson standing there and quite angry. Why I'm not part of this? Why I cannot come to the vine? 
Till now you see the divine is something which and is very essence in the culture of people in those days. And we couldn't talk so much about the Tirosh. When God speaks about the three blessings of the country, he's mentioning granary, the new wine or Tirosh, and the third thing, the oil. When God says by Moses, tell this nation, I bring him to a good land, a good land, a land of honey, milk, right? A land of... And then he mentions the things in this land, the fruits of this land. Man of, a land of oil, of pomegranate, of fig tree, of vines. We can see that vine is one of the most important elements that was in this land. Let's talk a little bit about what we get here. It's full of liquid. This liquid, until I step on the grapes, there are still grapes. The moment I step, I break the grape, it becomes liquid, fermentation starts. The enzymes which are on the cover of the grape, the moment I break the cover, they go inside the grape to the sugar and they start producing alcohol. So remember that a new wine is grapes which became liquid, but we stop their fermentation system. How? By putting them in a cold atmosphere, in a cold weather, like 14, 14 degrees of course, Celsius and the minus will not give fermentation to work. What happens if it's very hot outside and I stepped on the grapes? Let us say 30 Celsius. It's, you see what happens? The fermentation will start, but it will be so quick that it will become a vinegar. And it will destroy all the liquid. So controlling is so important, controlling the temperature in order to get really the vine. Until now, I was talking about the technical things, about holding, how to hold, how to step. Why it's important? Because chapters like Isaiah 63, if I don't understand the story of the vine, I cannot understand chapter 63. Because he said, who is coming there from Edom? Who is coming from Botra? Why your garments are red like a man dead ste stepping the vine? Why you, all your garments are red? And then the answer of this one was, I was holding and pressing alone with my right hand. You see, because this is the picture, holding the rope with right hand and pressing the vine. And no doubt, beautiful picture of second coming of Messiah, when he will step on his enemies. And what is the picture? Like a man stepping on the grapes. And that's wine Hebrew, the liquid of the grapes. Parallel wine is all also go, called blood. We really use it, blood, Dam Anavim, the blood of the grapes. If you look on the, the blessing of Jacob, Genesis 49, on the disciples, he speaks about Judah and he says that he will have so much vineyards and he will have so much blood of the grapes. Yeah? That's why when Jesus had the cup of wine, and he told the disciples, unless you drink my blood, you have no part in me, right? You drink my blood. Now in Jewish mentality, it's okay, we understand it, because we call it blood of grapes, you see? The blood of the vine, we call it this way. The so when Jesus said, you have to drink my blood, it is actually in Hebrew, in our language. We can understand it. But again, I think, all what we saw here, it's only partially if we don't go on the next step to see what is the meaning, what is the spiritual meaning, what is the meaning that Jesus said, I am the true vine. 
what is a true vibe. But in order to know this, we have to go and to have another study about the vine itself, the characters and the, of the vines and so on.